Alrighty then, my royal chums, it is I, Daniel, you may call me the Paw Culture Dude, and today, yes, you got yourself another Sonic Movie 2 video, because according to my community post, you're like, we want more Sonic Movie 2 videos! Well, if you want one, you got one. So, not too long ago, literally a day ago, April 8th, 2021, literally the Sonic Movie Twitter account is like, well, the Sonic Movie 2 is going to hit theaters, like, literally a year later on, so, anyone else feeling impatient? Well, in the words of Classic Sonic, I'm waiting! Heck, we even got Pat Casey and Ben Schwartz himself, the voice of Sonic, and Pat Casey who co-write the first movie and the second movie, and I will get to that story later on, but for right now, they actually acknowledge by saying like, well, Sonic Movie 2 is literally one year away to April 8th, 2022, even Roger Craig Smith congratulated Ben Schwartz, and even Ben Schwartz replied to Roger Craig Smith, who was the former voice of Sonic from Sega, who voiced Sonic for 10 years, who moved on for the role, apparently, but Ben Schwartz says, well, thank you, RCS, which is definitely, like, Nick naming Roger Craig Smith for short since they both meet each other in real life and they have more respect to each other as voice in the same role. So, either way, we definitely got a little bit more on-set photos, but it's nothing too different. I mean, come on. It's the same ice cream truck, the same hot dog car, and yes, it's by Tails Channel. You can definitely see the watermark, but technically, we get to see a little bit new stuff like basically a bank and literally a production manager that has Sonic 2 on the ID, but obviously blur out like the profile for like secret identity cases, but we got some very interesting news that is considered to be exciting and it's all thanks to my very good friend who eventually sent me the source his name is Pringato Ren hopefully I pronounced the name right technically he showed me this podcast this podcast that features Pat Casey and Josh Miller who wrote the screenplay of the first movie and even currently the second one but also Ace Ventura 3 which features Jim Carrey that well, I'm not sure if it is going to be Jim but they worked with Jim Carrey before in the first movie and yes confirmed for the second movie as a whole and speaking of which they actually made a wikipedia page so you know wikipedia could be like edited by anyone so you can't really find it 100 reliable you know but it's very interesting that you got to see a sonic the hedgehog wikipedia page eventually existed so i could guys can send you the link so you can know all the specific in development details of sonic the hedgehog 2 but anyway i want to get to the news straight to this podcast featuring pat casey and josh miller about very exciting news about Sonic the Hedgehog 2, like the trailer updates, the sequel production, and possibly the potential future of a possible third movie if the second movie becomes successful if it releases in theaters in April 8, 2022. So let's play the clip! Oh, did he freeze again? Yeah, he's, he's got a question. <laughs> I, I'll, just, I'll just ask it. Uh, what can we expect out of the sequel? Any cameo appearances or new characters you can tell us about? Uh, I think we're probably not allowed to say anything about I that. I figured that, yeah. That, that was a good time for Ed to <laughs> freeze out. I will yeah, say that, was, that, that yeah, it's going to be, you know, because the first one was successful, the second one's going to be bigger, more yeah. action, and it's going to have a lot of stuff in it that you're going to like. That's what I, get, yeah, I won't I, say specific, I will say, but we were I keeping it in mind, you know. <laughs> yeah, like what what all, are people going to be excited about? Let's get it in. All four of us, so us, Jeff, and Toby, are surprised. It's almost the inverse of Ed's previous question of what the studio won't <laughs> let us do is we wrote – I wish I could remember Tim Miller's exact quote that Jeff relayed, relayed to us after he read it. But basically, I'm just like, wow, you guys uh, – wrote a real big movie here <laughs> yeah. meaning, meaning kind of like uh they're not gonna let you do any of this stuff this movie's gonna be way too expensive but yeah they're letting us do o almost all of it well, i think they found a way to not make it ridiculously expensive also yeah. Helps. Is that, yeah more expensive than the first one but i think everyone wisely realized that part of the first movie's success was that it didn't cost as much as you think it did because mm -hmm. It technically made more than Detective Pikachu in North America, but not that wow. much more. And the reason they haven't made Detective Pikachu 2 yet is because Detective Pikachu costs twice as much as Sonic. So it's just oh, like yeah. the, the, the profit levels on the first movie uh, really, I think, were in direct relation to the fact that they made the movie affordably. But Sonic 2, yeah, definitely. It's, like, full of, like, when I was picturing, as we were kind of wrapping up the draft, and I was just, like, thinking about all the moments in this movie that are tra trailer moments. Yeah. And just, like, man, the trailer for this movie is going to be insane. It's going to break mm -hmm. the internet, guaranteed. Yeah, I was really <laughs> dreading when they would tell us, uh, you know, because, like, on the first movie, it's, like, once they get 
once they do the budget and kind of get into the real production draft, it's sort of like, well, we got to lose this scene. Yeah, we got to lose this whole other character. It's a CG mm-hmm. character. It's too expensive. Um, and uh, so I was just expecting that to happen. And we really only lost one thing, which we can't, I don't, can't mention because I'm hoping maybe we could stick it in part yeah. three if there is yeah. a part three. Yeah. Um, but really, other than that, this one would have been a really fun uh, Robotnik scene. Um, all the other crazy shit that we put in the script is going to be in the movie, which oh, is kind yeah. of mind-boggling. Yeah, the That's Robotnik scene, unfortunately, they were like, this is a lot, and it really has nothing to do with the plot. We were like, but it's so cool! It's yeah. Possibly part three, possibly part three. So, uh... <laughs> Woo-wee! Man, we got some things to discuss about this. So on Kellen's Petty Talk Show, which is definitely an audio podcast that features Pat Casey and Josh Miller, I'll definitely put the link in the description. So, let me get this straight. First things off, we actually get to notice that a fan asked both of them a question by saying, um, what are we going to expect for the sequel? Are we going to see more fan favorite characters or some more fan service? Yada, yada, yada. And both Pat Casey and Josh Miller was like, well, we're not sure if we want to reveal that just because we still want to keep it secret. But Pat Casey eventually says that it'll definitely be more action pack and definitely the budget's going to be much bigger than what the first film did. And it's awesome that also that Josh Miller mentions a story with him, with director Jeff Fowler and producer Toby Asher where they talk about the budget that they spent for the first movie since it was pretty small well not too small but correct me if I'm wrong 85 to 95 million dollars on the production of the budget that's been spent on but when it got released on Valentine's Day 2020 it definitely got its money back by reaching over 300 million dollars worldwide and I like that Josh Miller pointed out it's the highest grossing video game movie in North America not globally like around the world just because Detective Pikachu was more successful and the reason why that Sonic is getting a sequel much more faster and why Josh Miller pointed out that Detective Pikachu is not getting a sequel right away just because Detective Pikachu was a much more expensive movie to make than Sonic so sorry Pokemon fans you gotta wait for more years to come for Detective Pikachu sequel but for Sonic they eventually got the money and the budget that they need because they definitely are going to add a little bit more scenes to definitely to be included and even Pat Casey tease about the trailer like it's going to be insane it's going to break the internet and trust me I believe I believe 100% faith on Pat Casey and Josh Miller from what exactly from what they're doing for what's planned for the sequel but also some very interesting things like literally nearby the very end where they basically said that okay there's this one scene that they couldn't do and the specific one CGI character that they could not add just because it's too expensive to fill into the sequel. So I think it was a good idea Like back in the first movie, your main CGI character was Sonic the Hedgehog himself. And then everyone else were playable human characters. So I definitely think that it's a good idea from start to finish. And as for the sequel, okay, first things off, we confirmed that yes, Tails will be a major character in the sequel. No voice casting announcement yet. But technically, we know that he will play a big part in the sequel. But also Knuckles the Echidna. You can definitely tell by back in December 2020 that the Illuminati confirms that Knuckles will play a major part in the sequel, and he's definitely going to be more serious in nature, but gullible when it comes to his personality. Jason Momoa has been considered to voice Knuckles. Not confirmed, it's more like a consideration. So that's like the second Sonic character that we're expected to see in the sequel, which uh, that's why I literally expected. But at the exact same time, they mentioned that there's this one CGI character that could not be in the sequel, but they said if they can do a third movie potentially only if this movie becomes a box office success in the future april 8th 2022 hopefully the pandemic eventually becomes over they have the chance to introduce another fan favorite sonic character who could that be could that be amy rose metal sonic shout the hedgehog name any fan favorite sonic the hedgehog character that was not eventually be like enough money to render the cgi in the second movie and possibly save for the third movie if the second movie become successful who could that be you guys can let me know down in the comments and they even said there's this one scene that eventually thinks it's something related to robotnik since jim carrey wants to reprise the role as robotnik which is surprising since he's not really into sequels besides ace ventura 2 and dumb and dumber 2 but since he has his full enjoyment on playing the character in the first movie he will definitely like to develop his story arc and he has to reach his apotheosis look it up if you don't know what it means but anyway either way they said that there's going to be this one special scene with robotnik but 
but it doesn't have to do anything for the second movie, but possibly for a third one if that can happen. So if Jim says yes to play Robotnik for a third time, which I bet he would, it depends since we're going to see a full-blown video game accurate Robotnik look to Dr. Eggman that you see from the video games. So I think that's going to be cool. So it's a good thing that Pat Casey and Josh Miller are really aware of the budget, how much it changed from it evolutionized from the first and second movie. But at the exact same time, they talk about some very promising details like what Pat Casey posted on Instagram where he's delivering the promising fact that the fans will definitely be satisfied for what are they going to bring in the sequel. Definitely going to be more action packed because we can tell from the car chase scene, which looks pretty awesome, by the way. But for the third movie, I'm so glad that they actually attended of wanting to continue the franchise because I do want a Sonic movie trilogy and since we know that Tails and Knuckles are confirmed to be part of the sequel no confirmations of who's voicing them yet but it definitely gives me hope like if the second movie becomes successful in theaters April 8th 2022 and coming soon to Paramount Plus as well hopefully a third movie could possibly exist and we'll definitely all be satisfied and it's great that both the writers are both on board to eventually if a third movie eventually becomes greenlined by Paramount Pictures themselves. We'll just see everything from what Sonic the Hedgehog 2 goes, so I'm pretty much excited for the news. I gotta give thanks to the Twitter user that gives me the credit source, and I'm fully excited from what the surprise is that they cannot reveal because of spoilers, and I'm really like putting full 100% trust on both Pat Casey and Josh Miller for what they bring us surprises that will definitely be satisfied and not disappointed for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So anyway, that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye then.